Hello everyone. In this session, I'll show you how you can convert your buildable lot areas, which you should have drawn in SketchUp, and how you can add this directly to your Jamboard. The purpose of this exercise is for you to add all of your bubble diagrams directly into your buildable area so that you can prioritize which of those areas needs to be retained and even in the final orientation of this building or the rooms within this building. So first, you need to go to your SketchUp file and please make sure that you already have a section where you have, <clears throat> sorry, where you have your buildable lot. In this case, I have this section here, which covers um, this part of my uh, buildable or proposed buildable area. So first, you need to change your camera such that the parallel projection is enabled. And then make sure that the view is enabled for the top view. Okay. And then try to move your mouse a little bit so that the um, lot area is shown in the middle part of the screen. Next, you need to turn on your shadows. Shadows will be used later to orient some of the rooms on where to properly place or position them. After that, you can choose to export this file as 2D graphic. And please make sure that this is labeled as buildable area with a save as type of JPEG. Once you're done exporting, you can then go back to your Jamboards, add a new frame, okay, this blank frame. And then from this, please make sure that um, you have editing access. For example, I am um, trying to open Mr. Akiatan's work and making sure that I have editing access. So the other frame that should be um, used for this next laboratory discussion should be a blank frame. And please make sure that you add the image of your buildable plot. So here I have my buildable area. And please make sure that this fits the um, drawing space. So in this case, I should build this one or fit this um, image within this section. Okay. So just make sure that it fits the uh, drawing board. Okay, and please make sure that the image is um, arranged such that the order is at the far um, um, back part of the drawing board. So it should be at the bottom and anything that you add from your bubble diagram should be positioned on top. So just like this one, if I perhaps copy the parking space that's already created by Mr. Akiatan, I can then place it here and readjust the area that I want. So like this one, if I want to reorient my parking space, I can position it here. So that later when we put this back to sketch up, we can now draw and reposition all of the areas that we want, okay? So I hope to see your work, your refined bubble diagrams using this instructional video. Thank you.